Yo, what's good boys? Hiko here. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys my secret on how to trigger contact dunks. So after this video, you're pretty much going to be getting contact dunks every time you go to attempt one. But yeah, just quickly before the video starts, make sure to drop a like, turn on notifications. It helps me out a lot. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so first of all, what you want to do is go into your animations, go to dunks and layups. And after that, you're going to want to take off small contact dunks if you have them equipped because they're trash. You know, it's as simple as that. They're terrible. You don't want to see those. And ever since I took them off, I've been getting a lot more rare contact dunk animations. And yeah, it's probably the best thing I ever did. So you want to leave on the other contact dunk animations. And we're going to go up to layups and we're going to put it on default swing because it's nice and simple. It doesn't miss much and it doesn't drag you into layups you don't want. For your dunk animations, you just want to put on straight arm tomahawks because they get you into really good animations and you get a lot of contacts from. That's the only reason I got them on. I don't want any other animations on because I want to get as many contacts as possible. And then my other dunk animation, I just got baseline reverses off one. They don't help at all with contacts. I just like to use it on twos and threes when I'm going baseline. I just want to get an easy two. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is you don't want any animations equipped. All you want is your contact dunk animations. So you get the highest possible chance of, you know, getting contacts. So I don't know why you'd want like flashy windmills and stuff because they look all right at the park, but I'd rather just go for good contact clips, you know? And all these clips in the background I've been getting have only been over a couple nights and I've only been playing a couple hours. I wasn't even trying to force them or anything, I'm just playing normally. Ooh. Alrighty lads, so now that we've fixed your animations, let's get into how you actually trigger the dunks. So a big mistake people make is taking off too early or too late, and yeah, you just get forced into layups and standing dunks and stuff you don't actually want to take. And another big mistake is, I can't believe people actually do this, they still hold square when going for contact dunks, you want to hold the stick directly down. And you don't want to use square at all unless you want to, I don't know, just do like a normal layup on a fast break. But if you're going for contacts, you got to hold the stick down. But anyway, back to where you want to take off. You don't want to take off too early. You don't want to take off too late. But you want to take off in this middle area around here, as you can see on the screen. And yeah, this is going to help you trigger a lot more dunks because you're not going to get, you know, like I said before, forced into a, a layup from taking off too late or... You're not going to get forced into a jump shot for taking off too early. You're also going to have to mix it up based on where the defender is because he's not just going to be sitting like a duck in the paint for you. You're actually going to have to see where he is and like try to adapt of where you're going to want to take off, take off. But if you see someone sitting in the paint disrespecting a jump shot, you just got to go in there and you know, you just got to dunk on him. You can't be disrespected at the park. You just have to dunk on him, do an emote, chuck him in your highlight mix. And yeah, they won't ever do that again. And yeah, if you guys follow these steps, you're going to be dunking on people like how LeBron dunked on Neurich from the Blazers or whatever his name is. I don't care. LeBron just destroyed him. That's all I know. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for how to trigger the dunks. I'm going to quickly show you guys my badges. So I have 30 finishing badges because I made a pure slasher. And the most important one, obviously, is contact finisher. Giant Slayer helps out a little bit with uh, dunks but I only really see it come up with layups sometimes it comes up for a dunk the relentless finish is a really underrated badge it comes up for any contact like animation if it's a layup or a dunk slithery finisher I only just chucked this one on still testing it out so I can't really comment on it yet if you guys know anything about it let me know in the comments lob city finisher that I just use this for 3v3 pro am and comp games so I can just catch oops and stuff. Fancy footwork. I haven't really uh, abused this like other people do, but I'm starting to get into it a little bit more. And then we just have Acrobat, which just helps me out when I try to go for my baseline reverse dunks, but I get stuck into a layup. So that's just another bailout badge. And then consistent finisher. I have that on because I have no shot meter because I need to be hitting those greens. And yeah, I can't see my shot meter and going up for a layup. So this helps me out a lot. But yeah, that's that's all my badges. I'll show you these badges in case you want to know. I got 19 playmaking badges. This build is a bit OP. I need to put pick pocket back on. I forgot to do that earlier. But yeah, these are my badges. 
I'll show you my stats real quick. My like my attributes and all that. So I got a a 95 driving dunk. I made a pure slasher like just the uh, the archetype was just all finishing really. But I have good uh, playmaking as well. So I get 19 playmaking badges so it's a little unfair but you know I think it's a good build. But yeah that pretty much uh, is everything on how to trigger dunks. So yeah I hope you guys can uh, go out there now and get some contacts and if this video helped you just a little bit make sure to drop a like turn on notifications and i'm out thanks for watching i'm just going to play some clips now